Okay, so we're back for part 7 of my Let's Play Sly 2 and we're gonna do Moonlight Rendezvous, rendezvous right there and we still have yet to take a single hit um, Yeah, this is that new mission Okay, this is what I mean by you have to hold down R1 a lot because there are, I think there are a total of three of you in this in this game. First two are just straightforwardly just following her. Not much to it. But then the um, third one is quite tricky because you have to do a lot of flying, which is para paragliding, no parachuting or whatever, which is something you get in this game, which is very um, useful for getting to places away from enemies and stuff so um, I guess you'll get introduced to that sometime in this game okay you have to basically hold down um, R1 a lot in this but don't let her get too far in front okay um, I guess that failed um, just like that um, basically just let it be in front but don't get too far behind it's just basically following her but be careful because she does smash things um, and be careful make sure that you can see everything in front of you okay there she is she's climbing up there are shortcuts to get around which I just did there I just went over that bridge without taking the bottle so all that time I was avoiding my bridge. It's really for nothing. Just like that, she tries to randomly attack. So just be careful of that. She will randomly try and attack things every now and then. And watch out for enemies, because enemies can be a pain with this. Because they can try and chase you and make you go in this weird mode where you just like walk inside of these. Which can be a pain. Um, it's just basically simple, you're just falling around and just chasing it. Don't get too far behind. You've probably seen this sort of thing in games before. Actually, I don't know, maybe you've actually had I don't know. Any other games for this to be? But there are probably, probably games where there's stuff where you're just chasing someone. Um, just simply just go down here, that's what I always do. And it automatically does it. Well done, there! And again, I haven't taken a hit. Glad you I'm very proud of this. Now, well, I'll get to Dimitri and then I'll be, oh my god, I just died. I didn't just get hit, but I died. But, um, something to remember with just Neil, I guess. Just, just focus on Neil. Don't focus on enemies because if you waste time. Okay, this is a Bentley symbol. Only Bentley can do it. If you focus too much time on the enemies, Neil is going to get away. She only waits for you for so long. Okay, the next part, which is going to be part 8, will be the next side mission of this, of the four missions. And I'm going to firstly going to get to it. Um, parachuting becomes very, very useful when you get it because you get to just fly around and it just makes things a lot easier like at the moment you have to do jumping every five seconds and you have to just moving around and it's hard to get away from enemies when you get the parachute you can just glide, um, glide away and stuff but you don't get it to episode 5 which is pretty annoying ok where are we going now? Okay, now we're gonna avoid enemy. Because some of these places are enemies. And that move can happen to any enemy. Okay, to get to this next place, you have to climb up here. You have to climb on top of this building. And it's just there. Okay, we're gonna avoid that bottle. Okay, so we're gonna go straight towards it. And we're gonna stop right here. Okay, so on the next one, we're gonna be doing fear of pickpocketing, where I'll show you about pickpocketing and stuff, and um, that's about.
about all you'll learn. So um, keep watching a C party on my Let's Play Slide 2. Two two bye bye.